One of the installations on the boat was uh, of a watermaker. It's a Sea Recovery Ultra Whisper 200. First step in the process of making water is to get water from the ocean. Uh, over here we're looking at the feed pump and uh, the sea strainer. So water gets picked up with a forward facing through hull which then can be opened and closed over here. From the through hull flows into your sea strainer, from the sea strainer into your feed pump and then from the feed pump off into the rest of the system. We did the majority of the installation in the forward port berth. As you can see this is the bed in front of us and it was one of the only areas uh, that we could find where we could actually fit a water maker. As you can see there's a closet area, storage area under the mattress in the berth. So as you can see down in here some of the filters, that's your charcoal filter down there which is the last filter the potable water goes through before it gets sent to the tanks. On the other side we've got your fresh water flush pump and that is uh, to clean out the system of any salt water when you're not using the system. It does it every time the system is used and then it automatically runs every seven days. As you can see there's a huge amount of hoses and connections and T's and so forth involved in the watermaker installation. This over here is your product manifold which is uh, basically where all the electrical connections take place. It also has your pressure gauges to ensure you've got the correct pressure from the various components of the unit. And then down on the left hand side you've got your product water flow. And this tells you how many gallons per hour you are making of potable water. On this side over here you've got your membrane. And that's the high pressure membrane, uh, probably the most important part in the processing of potable water. And on the other side, we've got your brine discharge, which we put in as close as possible, just a through hole above the water line, and all your brine discharge lines run into that and get discharged overboard. Over here in front of us, we have the two pre filters your 25 micron and your 5 micron. So from the feed pump, which picks up the seawater, it comes through the two pre-filters. First the 25 micron gets out the big stuff, then through the 5 micron gets out the smaller stuff, and then it heads off to your ERD, which is down here, and the ERD converts that water into high pressure and sends it off to your membrane which then does some of the final filtering of the water before it sends it off to the water tanks. As you can see, it was quite a tight installation, not much space to work in, but we managed to get everything to fit in and it uh, is going to work well. What we're looking at here is where the potable water from the water maker comes into the water tanks. If you look down here, you've got the 3 8 hose line that carries the potable water from the water tank directly into the top of the water tank. What the owner wanted on this boat was uh, that the water maker could send water to both of his water tanks. We installed a three-way valve, which is just a turn of a handle, which will switch which side the water will go to. The most important thing about the three-way valve is that it's always open, so that if you turn the handle, it either goes one way or the other way. It's never closed because that can do some serious damage to your water maker. 